morning students today i would like to discuss about the concept of concave mirrors in the light topic it will be in the 9th class 10th class and uh, plus 2 also so first of all you have to know that this is the shape of the concave shape cave cave means inside this actually this part will be coming from the if you take a spherical body if you cut from small part from here i am keeping here this is the center of the sphere so this you can call as the concave shape if you put the silver coating on the surface outside surface this will be looking like a this will be a concave mirror okay in this concave mirror here the center point here this is the center point let us say this we can call as the center of the curvature and exactly opposite to the midpoint of the concave mirror which we can call as the pole if a line is joining to the center of curvature to the pole this line you can call it as the principal axis principal axis now exactly in between the center point between c and p which we can call as the f f you can call it as the focus point focus point you can call it as why because this is the center between the p and c now if you take this uh, cp distance you can call it as the radius of curvature cp you can call it as the radius of curvature of a lens that is a concave mirror which is represented by the symbol of capital r now the distance between fp or cf which we can call it as the small f which is the f p we can call it as the focal point or focal length you can say represent the symbol of small f now if you observe this this is exactly in between the center that's why we can say that this is small f this is small f we can say that radius of the relation between these two is r you can say that r is equal to 2f or you can say focal length f is equal to r by 2 which is important relation for doing the problems okay this is about the concave mirror now first of all you have to know the uh, rules for the forming of an image say first rule will be like this first rule rule number one when the line which is falls on the concave shaped mirror which is a parallel to the x-axis you can say this is parallel to the principal axis you can say this is the incident line then this ray should pass through the focus point this is the rule number one or you can say that that means you can write here incident light incident light is parallel to principal axis will reflected you can say will reflected and passing through focus f this is the rule number one next rule number two second rule here i am considering once again this is the concave mirror this is the center point is pole this is the focus point f 
this is the center of curvature C. This is the principal axis. Now, rule number two is when the light passes through the focus point which it touches the reflecting surface of the mirror, then the reflected light should be parallel to the principal axis. This is rule number two. That is incident light passes through focus point then reflected light should be parallel to principal axis this is the rule number two so rule number three third rule so again i am considering the concave mirror outside will be silver coated this is the pole point p this is the focus f this is the center of curvature c now the third point is Whenever the light ray is passing through the center of curvature, then it will simply, uh, which a reflected light should be on the same path where the incident light is passing. So, this is the rule number 3. So, we can write, when the light passing through center of curvature it reflected back in same path that is again 180 degrees so these are the important three rules forming the image due to the concave mirror. So, next, how the formation of images will be observed? Let us discuss. Now, here I am considering the concave mirror. This is the line, the center point of the mirror is pole, this is focal point, this is uh, center of curvature. Now, let us say the object is uh, beyond C, let us say. That means P4C. This is the object. Generally, object can be represented like this with an arrow mark. Now, this A is the head, B is the tail, you can say. For formation of the images, two rays should be required. Here, already according to the rules, so first two conditions I am using here. One, the light ray is parallel to the principal axis. Another is uh, passing through the focus. Okay. Say, let us say, a B is an object. Now I am considering the light ray which is parallel to the principal axis. This is the light ray which is parallel to the principal axis. As we know that from the condition number one, when it is parallel to the principal axis, this should pass us through the focal point. Yeah, this is the focal point. Okay. This is the focal point. Let us see. Now another ray, let us consider another ray which is passing through the focus point for my consideration. It strikes this. Oh, sorry. Then this should be parallel. This whenever passing through the focus point, it should be parallel to the principal axis. This is the light ray. Now, if you observe this, these two points will really meet at this point. That means image is formed here like this. This is A dash, this is a B dash. Now, if you observe this, this is a full size. This will be some little bit less size. Okay. Now, how can you know the characteristics see this one here position of the object is you can say 
see position of the object is beyond c we can say this is beyond c that is named as ab image where the image is formed here if you observe this image is formed between the center of curvature and the focal point that is image formation is between between c and f exactly in between them say how the position position of the image will be like this how it will be this is inverted inverted image is formed inverted means obviously it is a real image why because these two rays are meeting really that we can say real so basically if you observe this inverted and real are both are combined whenever the inverted is come then it should be real in this particular condition inverted and real will be there see here image will be uh, small size that is you can say size of the image is diminished so this is the first case okay next now let us assume this is a spherical mirror point p is polar pole f is the focal point c is the center of curvature here initially in the first case if you observe image is beyond at c say so in the second case if the object is at c that means at this point c this is an object as usual a b for this explanation you should require two rays one is parallel to the principal axis another is passing through the focal point so if you observe this one is parallel to the principal axis actually it will passing through this focal point yes okay another should be passing through the focal point as we know that whenever the light ray is passing through the focal point it should be parallel to the principal axis here okay this ray this ray this ray this ray this ray so if you observe this these two are meeting really then you can observe the image a dash and b dash again this is number two point number two point number two so position of the object c is at uh, center of curvature c the image is formation should be at c only center of curvature only now what is the position and their characteristics so position as usual inverted inverted means automatically it will be real here object size and image size both are same same size as object this is position of the object number two next number in the third case now if you observe the object is in between c and f let us say this is an object a b as usual in between c and f again for this i am considering two lines one light ray is parallel to the principal axis as we know that it will be passing through the focus point okay and the light ray which is passing through the focus point when it is passing through the focus point it should be parallel to the principal axis that means yes okay now these two rays will meet really at this point say the image is formed here again named as a dash b dash that means the image formed here is beyond c c okay so how what are the characteristics say one number three object uh, position will be in between c and f image formed here is beyond c now what are the characteristics as usual inverted so we can really crossing that means real 
but if you observe this object is small size this will be big size that means we can say that this is a magnified image okay this is about the condition number third point number fourth point now in this fourth case if the object is at the focus point f let us say a b and here we are considering two initial two incident lights as usual one is parallel to the x axis as we know that whenever it is parallel to the principal axis it will passing through the focus point yeah this here in this particular case uh, there is a if the if, it, if the race uh, passing through the focus point is not possible here that's why i am considering the third condition which is the light ray passing through the center of curvature let us assume this is the center of curvature here when the light ray is passing through the center of curvature then as you know that whenever it is passing through the center of curvature it will be reflected back and like this that means you can observe in the backward direction let us say this is the here if these two are the parallel rays the reflected rays for this mirror is are parallel rays that's why in general they will never meet if they meet going 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 at a particular long distance we can say that is at the infinity point if they meet we can observe the highly enlarged image for this okay that means condition number four the object is at f so image how the image will be formed so here parallel is never made but uh, we can say that the observed image uh, will be at infinity so image will be formed at infinity so what are the characteristics of this as usual inverted inverted means real only so here image is highly enlarged image will be observed highly enlarged so these are the fourth condition number five fifth condition is now in the fifth condition if the image is in between focus point and pole p then what are the output here at this point you can say this in between f and here is an object let us see. same condition you can apply here first and third condition you can apply here whenever it will be parallel to the principal axis or so this uh, okay parallel to the principal axis it will passing through the focus point as usual another ray should be considered which is passing to the center of curvature like this like this it will be reflected back reflected back so these are not uh, di diverging rays this so as we know that diverging rays never meet each other for my convenience we can extend this rays in the upward direction they will meet at a particular point so here you can observe the image formation that is a dash b dash in the all remaining conditions the image formation will be inverted 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 real images but in this particular case the image formation is erect image or you can say upright image or you can say erect image so what are the conditions here again here the image formed is behind the mirror you can see the case number five that is if the object is in between focal point f and pole p 
how the image is formed here is as usual enlarged image here behind mirror what are the characteristics character is somewhat be different here because in all the four cases you can observe inverted 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 diminished uh, size same size magnified highly enlarged that means if you observe this increasing order you can observe here first diminished that is small size and then size will be uh, some more magnified same size and then magnified and then highly enlarged and the fourth point the fifth point it will fall behind the mirror that means what are the characteristics of this one that means you can observe the image here is uh, erect erect or you can use upright image here whenever the erect image is formed which is virtual that means these uh, two lines uh, um, really they are not meet that's why we can say this is the virtual image formed and the image formed is enlarged so in the competitive point of view you have to remember that in case of the concave mirror when erect enlarged image is formed that means if the object is in between pole and focus point the image formed is erect and enlarged virtual image will be observed this is the formation of the images in the concave mirror we go for the next topic is for the convex mirror here convex mirror convex mirror means this is the convex shape this is bulging side will be outside so inside will be coated with the silver coating this bulge side will be outside inside will be coated with the silver coating or black coating here if you observe same for this here this is the pole of the mirror p and as usual inside you can observe this uh, is the center of the mirror c exactly in between these two uh, f is the focal point here in this convex mirror only one case you can observe here that is um, image formation of an object at uh, any point except at the infinity so that is the uh, case one if it is at the infinity what is the observations you can first of all check the conditions uh, rules as usual opposite of the rules uh, just like concave mirror so for the convex mirror uh, rule number one when the light is incident uh, on the convex shape which is parallel to the principal axis then it will be diverged in this direction divergence this is divergence if you extend it back this divergent ray it will pass us through the focus point f this is the rule number one rule number one so whenever the light ray falls on the convex mirror which is parallel to the principal axis it will be diverged if you extend the divergence in the backward direction it will meet the focus point that is the rule number one again rule number two rule number two as usual this is the focal point p pole and focal point and c is the center of curvature inside will be silver coated now when the light ray falls towards the focus point so like this towards the focus point then it will be reflected ray should be parallel to the principal axis this is the rule number two so rule number two is if the light ray towards the focal point f reflected back as the parallel rays that is as a uh, reflected back parallel to the principal axis this is the rule number two as usual rule number three so rule number three as usual same that if the ray towards the c the reflected back as usual so rule number three also you can draw simply yeah yes this is focal point this is center of curvature 
when this is uh, false like this okay when it is incident ray is towards the center towards the center of curvature it will be reflected back in the same path these are the three rules for the convex mirror first ray is ray of light parallel to the principal axis it diverges if it extended back leads they meet at the focal point f rule number two is if the rays is towards the f are reflected back as the parallel rays rule number three if the rays towards the center of curvature C, it reflected back. As you show. These are the three rules for the convex mirror. Now, how the image formation is there? Number one. So, image formation of an object at any point except at infinity. First is image formation of an object at any point except at infinity as usual here considering the ray spherical convex shape inside will be silver coated this is the bulk side this is the pole sorry this is the pole p this is the focus point f this is the center of curvature c okay now here let us assume at a particular point at, a, at any point that means here on this line a b is the image oh, sorry object for this consideration i am considering two rays for the forming of the object two rays should be present to okay So, for the convex mirror, image formation of an object at any point except at the infinity. Okay. Say A, B is an object here. For the image formation, I am considering the two rays. One light ray is parallel to the principal axis. This is the light ray. Sorry. Uh, parallel to the principal axis. So, okay automatically we know that it will be reflected back like this another light ray is another ray is passing through the now another ray is uh, passing through the center of curvature okay yeah that means so uh, nearly like this let us say yeah mm okay so this uh, reflected rays that means it will passing through the center of curvature means like this okay yeah as we know the condition number three is whenever it will be passing through the center of curvature towards the center of curvature it will reflect it back and this divergent ray will be extended so that it will uh, passing through the focus point extension now you can observe this image is formed these two are meeting point is here means this is the formation of the image very small size image will be observed now how the object is at any point you can say uh, image formed between in between uh, this uh, focus point and pole in between f and p this is virtual image but because really they are not meet if you observe this is the erect uh, that is our upright and this is in the small size okay they are appear to meet here so this is the formation of the image for the convex mirror okay that means we can say finally small and erect image will be observed 
due to the convex mirror. Next, in the second case, if the object is, if object is at infinity, That means, as you know, that infinite rays are parallel rays. For this, I am considering two incident rays which are parallel to the principal axis. Those object is at the infinity. As we know that whenever the parallel rays falls on the uh, convex mirror, it will be diverged. That means, it will be diverging in this direction. It will be diverged in this direction. If you extended this diverging lens, which is passing through the focus point, like this, they are meet at this point only. That means, if object is at the infinity, image is formed at the focal point or focus F. This we observe, this is a point size we can say that image formed is image is virtual as usual virtual means erect that is all upright and the image is a point size image this is point size image in this way we can say that formation of images due to the convex lens sorry concave mirror and also convex mirror in this convex mirror only two cases you can observe one case is if the object is at any point except at the infinity in this case image formed is in between f and p which is virtual erect and small size if you observe the second case if the object is at the infinity then image is formed uh, at a focus point F, which is virtual, that means they are not really meet. If you extended this uh, diverging rays, it will meet at the focus point F. That's why we can say this is virtual and is also erect. And the size of the image is point size image, which is point size. We can observe this in this way. You can explain the formation of uh, images in concave and convex manner. Thank you for watching.